first thing I did actually was to develop new magnet structures because the efficiency of the driver is strongly dependent on having uh, a high flux in the magnetic gap. Now, one of the things about a traditional flat disc magnet is that you get a lot of stray magnetic flux. Now, that can affect ancillary equipment, and if you have the crossover nearby and the cro crossover is moving, it's you know, you can induce some currents in. But, you know, really the big thing at the time was cathode ray television tubes. And so reducing stray flux was a motivation in changing from a flat magnet to a cylindrical or radial magnet. But when I started to analyse the performance of these things, it became quite quickly obvious that not only did they minimise stray flux, but um, they actually concentrate the flux more effectively in the gap and they give you a little bit about five percent extra flux all you know it's all good stuff and actually just the, the the fact that it is a cylinder means that it's more compact and one of my bees in my bonnet was getting the drivers as close together as possible so that at crossover the uh, the, the beam is wide the beam before you get the cancellation notches above and below is quite wide. Uh, so with radial magnets you get um, strong magnetic field, uh, minimum outside diameter and then most crucially you get the large hole in the middle to which you can apply, um, attach your exponential tube. So that was the beginning of a set of drivers which I intended to put into professional studio monitors.